Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you uh, experience, uh, so first impressions about this uh, new knife that I got and it is from uh, a well-known brand that produces uh, Damascus blades, so uh, a few generations down the road. So uh, uh, this package here is uh, marked by the distributor for uh, Germany, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Linder company. So it is a Solingen or Solingen based uh, distributor, and uh, the knife is from uh, Croco knives. Uh, the model number is Clipper or Croco Damascus 25 folding knife 330110. Uh, it depends on where are you looking for it. If you are going uh, directly from uh, crocoknives.com or linder.de. Uh, uh, so uh, let's dive in. So presentation it has is really a nice uh, um, yellow box. It reminds me of some Invicta watches. So inside we have a few informations how to keep it dry because it's uh, it's carbon uh, based steel, so high carbon, as you know, rusts really easily. So yeah. I also give you a few options how, what to use, oil. WD-40 or Vaseline, yeah, good thing to remind the customer that what's going on. So inside the package we have two things, let me put this aside. So firstly, they generously will provide you a slip or a pocket sheet uh, with a pocket clip. Has good uh, medium tension to it, so it will be not a problem to slide in. It is genuine leather tent. It looks like double stitching. Oh, who knows? Nice bonus. And inside here we have the knife itself. So the Croco knife brand. Uh, uh, is located or uh, they are located in the factory located in Pakistan you have a few options with the 25 folding knife you can choose from uh, this is uh, a wood variant uh, let me check what was the handle material to it is walnut is walnut wood Okay, so uh, here is the beautiful pattern uh, with this twisted uh, Damascus they are using. And uh, let me give you the quick uh, specifications. So we have a overall length of 18.3 centimeters or 7.2 inches. The blade is 8.3 centimeters or 3.2 inches. Uh, the blade thickness is 2 millimeters or sorry three millimeters or uh, 0 0.12 inches the handle length is 10.3 centimeters or 8 inches the handle thickness is 1.7 centimeters or 0 0.67 inches uh, the cutting edge uh, is 7.3 centimeters or 2.9 inches we have beautiful clip point blade uh, the pattern uh, is a lenis clip as you can see here a beautiful rendition of this uh, well-known and uh, desired uh, design or pattern. Mm, if you don't know the history about the Lenny's clip, so uh, it was uh, designed by the legendary knife maker uh, Tony Bose, and uh, he designed this knife for his friend uh, Lenny Shell uh, from Tennessee. So therefore, it's called uh, a Lenny's clip. And it's really an iconic design, and I really I like it. 
Okay, so the construction, uh, like I mentioned, the blade is uh, twisted pattern Damascus with 200 layers. They applied a nice deep uh, etching so you can see the patterns. There you can see. So we have a standard uh, slip joint construction. We have uh, we have nickel silver bolsters and brass aligners and also pins. There is a recessed shield with the Croco knives uh, logo there, with the, right there. Overall, we have uh, a slightly uh, faded markings on the tank here. Which, uh, I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in. Stays Croco knives, and there is CK. Three zero one zero. So croco knives uh, will give you a few options uh, which you can choose from. Um, there is this uh, walnut wood. Then you have a black a buffalo horn and a camel bone, uh, which are probably the three uh, most traditional materials uh, uh, they were using uh, through the years. I would like to see uh, maybe something uh, like also in my Carta version, but uh, keep in mind this is a uh, traditional, uh, traditional family-owned company, and uh, they producing uh, these knives with their traditional procedures and uh, and materials. Okay, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the. Uh, the weight so the weight is 107.5 grams or 3.8 ounces uh, fit and finish uh, let me put it closer in so we have definitely definitely a few imperfections uh, like uh, the back uh, back spring is not matching completely uh, with the tang of the blade Looks like the, the pins are okay, they are not sharp, they are not uh, poking out. There is no half stop, I, I don't know why, but there is no half stop, so uh, it, will, it will only close and open. As opening method, we have a nailing opening uh, right on the top, right there. And the pouch here uh, measures 9.5 uh, centimeters by 5.8 centimeters, so it it will fit the blade. Of course, you can uh, push it a little bit farther down, but. Uh, Please keep in mind that this is, is a tension fit and you have no uh, lanyard uh, opening. You can put no spring or cordage on it. So uh, it, if you put it completely down, it will be a little bit hard to take out. Uh, probably it will loosen up uh, with time. So uh, a nice option, the bonus option uh, they have given you there. So the company is from uh, Wazirabad, Pakistan and uh, if you want to know more about what they are producing then just uh, go and check out the website, I will uh, link it uh, down below, it's croconife.com. If you are from Europe then obviously you can uh, check out uh, linder.de or uh, lamnia.fi, uh, they have uh, some uh, models on stock. Now let me give you a few size comparisons. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, we have not talked about the pricing. So uh, let's quick talk about the pricing. 
uh, these go for uh, $78.50 uh, from, uh, from the Croco website. Uh, if you are uh, search around, maybe you are buying it from another reseller, you can, uh, you can maybe uh, buy it cheaper. Uh, the Europe price is from 62 to 59 uh, euros. So we have uh, around around the same uh, same price point like uh, some decent brands you can you can you can buy from maybe case uh, if I'm not mistaken my uh, my tribal lock was around 58 um, to 60 dollars so yeah but let me uh, compare with a few uh, let's say Lenny's clips that I own. So uh, here is the Rough Rider one. Then I also like to bring out uh, the Brother 1507. If you're looking for a beautiful uh, VG10 blade and carbon fiber uh, bolstered uh, um, Lenny's clip uh, for around, uh, for around uh, these were $40, $45, around that. Depends on the sale, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, great value. So these are the the two Lenny's clip I own. Then with some similar uh, scales or uh, sorry handle, but a different blade. Uh, we can also take the Fang Tooth. So the the TS the Tucson one eight seven uh, from Mazvan Mokhtar design. Then. Uh, also definitely a beautiful uh, beautiful knife and uh, the handle shape is more uh, compared with uh, the Lenny's clip than uh, let's say this uh, uh, this brother here now let me uh, take out uh, here is a trapper from Rough Rider, Peanut, and Toothpick. Then let's, let us continue with more modern knives. So here is the Spyderco Delica. Here is Benchmade Gertilian Buck Vintage Pro Buck Sprint Pro in Burlap My Carta um, CVV Elementum and I almost forgot uh, my uh, CVV Rustic Gent, which is also a uh, really nice uh, rendition. It could be uh, considered as a Lenny's clip. Also in the same price category. Uh, yes. Uh, what else? Okay, here is the Kaiser pinch and a red model too so this should be uh, sufficient to demonstrate the size differences okay so this was the croco knives damascus 25 folding knife a lenny's clip pattern if you have any questions please uh, leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can if you have any questions uh, about uh, my other stuff on my channel, then uh, feel free also comment down below. I also strongly suggest uh, check out uh, my uh, playlist if you're interested in traditional knives, or maybe modern knives, or maybe knives with my carta, then uh, you can find much, much more uh, of them uh, right there. So with that, I would like to wish you a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye.